Winston Smith here, and you're watching reviews with booze. <laughs> Creator, Phantom, Antichrist. I just bought this album. I just rocked through it once. And, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fucking cool. Starts off with a kind of typical intro. But, of course, second track is uh, pretty much laying the balls down on the table. And, uh, it's the title track as well, Phantom Antichrist. And it has good changes, uh, good hook, and, uh, pretty sweet ass riffs. So I really enjoyed it and kept me listening. Went through the record. Uh, what I found is really good about this record, especially for being a <coughs> German thrash band or whatnot, is that every song on here is has its own little personality, has its own little difference, and uh, that's fucking good to hear because a lot of times you throw on something and it's just like I just heard like an hour of the same goddamn bullshit. Do I need to fuck blah blah? I probably won't rock this too much, but there was plenty of difference in songs while keeping it. Definitely, you know, it's the same band on the same album, and that's pretty much the goal for everyone. It's tough to do because you don't want a random ass motherfucking album where every goddamn fucking song is different, and it's like, oh holy shit, you guys just put together a bunch of fucking clothes that don't match. You'd like look like your fucking parents need to fucking dress you or something, <laughs> but not with these guys. They keep the same idea every song being fresh and unique the song that most caught my attention is the song your heaven my hell for some reason it just had a, an epic aspect to it um, the vocalist sounds like he does phrasing at times that remind me of Tom Arroyo from Slayer but his voice kind of sounds like the Celtic Frost guy and I don't know his name but the riffs are good. The guitar work is very, uh, what's the word? Ah, fuck that. <laughs> That's what, booze and reviews. Oh, that song also has, uh, like some Andy the Rocks sound effects, things, whatever he does with the whammy bar during the solo. And that's fucking sweet, because, uh, I love Andy Solos. Pretty fucking sweet. Um, I'd say go out and check this motherfucking album out. I do not know. It seems to have a conceptual thing, and I don't know if right away, when I hear it, I kind of think that it's undertones or I hate the system that's going on around the world now and everybody should rise up and burn it goddamn down. I don't know if that's what this album's kind of saying in the undertones. Kind of got that vibe, but listen for yourself. I think it's pretty good. I bought a creator album like 10 years ago or something, and I remember not liking it at that time, but at that time, I, who knows what uh, I was, was attracted to me, but I would say check this motherfucking album out. And uh, if you don't like uh, thrash metal with a little bit of creativity, and steer clear of this motherfucking record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Peace. It's been reviews with booze.